Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to show you how to lock and secure files on the Mac with a password for the three free applications that come with all Macs. Pages for word processing, numbers for spreadsheets, and Keynote for presentations. So all of these have the ability to actually add a password to a file so that you can keep it confidential and secure if there's private information in there that you don't want anybody to access easily. Now we've created a few files in our documents folder. We have a pages word processing file we want to secure, a keynote presentation file we want to secure, and a spreadsheet we want to secure. So we'll go through each one of these. The process is pretty much the same for each one, but we'll run you through each one. In this case, I double click on my pages file and I open it up and it should open the file and it's ready to go. Now, if we want to secure this, we just go to the file menu and choose set password. So here it's going to ask us to choose a password. So I'm going to type in the password that I am selecting for this file. So when you're picking a password, make sure it's one that you can remember easily because if you forget, this file is password protected and encrypted. There's not going to be any way to break into it to open it up. That would defeat the purpose of putting a password on it in the first place. So if you forget your password, you're not going to be able to access this file anymore. So make sure it's one that you can really remember. Now we can add a password hint. When you add a password hint, do not put any of this password or a real obvious hint to the password in here. Otherwise, if somebody else tries to get into the file and they see part of the password in there, then they could easily crack the file or a hint something that uh, they might know easily. Let's say the name of your dog or something like that and they know your dog, then they'll be able to get in. So put in a hint that's kind of obscure, uh, something pretty vague that will mean something to you but not to anyone else. And do not click on remember this password in my keychain because if you do, when you open up the file, uh, the keychain will remember the password and just open up the file automatically for you. So if somebody gets on your computer, uh, all they have to do is double click on the file and it'll still open anyways. Now, if you're sending this file to someone else, and the whole idea is to make sure that it's secure in transit and secure on their, uh, on their end, then it'd be okay to do that if you don't really mind if people on your computer see it. But if you want to maintain the utmost security and confidentiality in the file, make sure you do not click remember this password in my keychain. Okay, we just go set password. Great, and the password is set. We can save the file for good measure and just close it. And then see now, the icon has changed. There's no more preview of the contents of the document anymore. And we have a lock icon on there. So if we double click to open it, it's going to ask us for the password to get in. Again, do not click on remember this password in my keychain. Otherwise, it just opens up access to anyone on your computer. Click OK. And the file opens. Now, if we want to secure a keynote presentation file, just double click on that. It should open up the presentation. Put a file, set password, it's in the same place, same interface. Again, don't click remember this password, click set password. And we'll see actually one thing I didn't show earlier, it puts a little lock here. And if we move this down, it hasn't really done it uh, to the file yet because we haven't saved. So if we go save, then you'll see the icon has changed now to a lock. So if we want to open it, again, we got to put in the password. And it will open the file. If we want to secure a spreadsheet from the numbers application, we can do that in pretty much the same way as well. So again, look, we have a generic numbers icon up here. We want to lock it, 
go to file, set password, select our password. And then remember, do not click remember this password in my keychain. Click set password, save your file, and you'll see it's now locked as well. To open it again, double click on it, enter your password, and you've got access to the file. Well, I hope you found this tip helpful, and if you did, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. We're always putting up new tips on our channel to help you get the most out of your Apple products. And if you know anybody who might need to add a password to secure their pages, keynote, or numbers documents, please share the video with them and share it on social media so more people can get the benefit of being able to secure their files. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.